Welcome back. We already saved the planet, but not like you can tell from here. Um, we have to deal with the main facility, though. That means dealing with quite a few rather annoying turrets. One. Um, that wasn't great though. Let's have my shields recharge. And they're all gone. Um, This is just something I find so much easier to do with uh, non-camera relative controls. Because I can just keep moving. And yeah, they'll hit me on occasion. But not too bad. And these moving things are definitely a lot easier to hit with the mouse as well. But you know, that's just kind of generally true. On my way. Um. All right. Remember this being kind of a painful little segment. But I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle. It is one of the few unique environments you get to fi fight in. Oh. Okay. That was just immediately terrible. I am not hitting him through this tree, aren't I? He's all the way over there now. I don't know if he's... Oh, it's the drones. Those are the being... assholes. Because you guys, we can deal with. They're all over on that side. This seems like a good opportunity to do some sniping. Um, who is hitting me? Is it you? Mr. Batarian Engineer, I think it is you.
do that with Garrus. Now I'm ready. That gives us some extra ability to use some powers. seem to have done much. Whatever. Oh. They're flanking me. That's not loud. Actually, no. Let's stop him from using powers um, in case lift does not work. It does, though. I just can't use my weapon. Yes, yes we are. You, sir? They just love doing that, don't they? Yeah, there's not much I can do about lost shields right now. <laughs> well, Rex has immunity, which he can use, I guess. There's really just not much I can do, period. Get out of the way. Can I switch weapons? Can I use them? Yes. I can. It's good to know. Sabotage only affects the weapon you're actually using. one point not being able to uh, finish this mission because somebody got stuck in the in a wall somewhere I think all the biotics probably just make that more likely to happen. The drones just keep coming, don't they? Like an engineer over there who's building new ones? I don't know if that's how this works at all. I don't think the glass is really very good cover. Where are the last two? They're down below. Or one of them is anyway. Yep, 
He won't stay down below, though. Okay, one more. There he is. And yet another one. Or is that him? Die, human. <laughs> but he's just in there. Okay. You humans. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Let the hostages go, and maybe you'll live long enough to explain yourself to the council. I don't answer to the council. Or to you. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. I can't just let you go, Balak. Not after what happened here. This is nothing. You humans have done far worse to the Vatarians. We've been forced into exile. Forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Why take it out on these people? They didn't do anything to you or the Batarians. Didn't do anything? Aside from colonizing a world that could have been ours? Aside from using resources that should have been ours? We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. And how does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. Is that what Elysium was? A way to get our attention? Well, you got it. And when we responded, you ran like cowards. Now you want to start it all over again. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand. And I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. We have to save the hostages, of course. You can go, but this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe. But I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on a timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. Negative contacts, Commander. Alright, uh, we have... Two minutes. To disarm a bunch of charges. I don't really remember where they are. This one's upstairs. I don't really remember what the best order to do them in is. Um, that's not good. I'm gonna die. I couldn't even use powers fast enough. Yeah, just running for it is maybe not the best idea. I'm gonna go to the one that's down here first. Uh, how about we stop you from shooting? There's one down here. Alright, the inside one should be easy to get. And the last one is on the other opposite side, I think. Really remember. 
Oh. That really should have set it off, wouldn't you think? Uh, yeah, it's on the... All the way on the other side. I don't remember if it's up or down or what. don't care that much about killing him. Until I do this. All demolition charges have been deactivated. Release the scientists from the prison cell in the lower level office. Um, somebody's standing in the camera. Is that, is that all right? No, but we had no choice. Letting him go was better than the alternative. I thought you were going to stay someplace safe. I... There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour in our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city, the most densely populated region. Did we already establish that wouldn't have made a difference? that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she alright? Is her team? Balak was holding them hostage. I let him go to save them. Let a terrorist go or sacrifice innocent lives. I'm glad that's not a choice I had to make. Is that... Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? Yeah, he could. Balak seemed like a practical man. Practical, but callous. I'm sure if he'd been in my place, Miss Bowman would be dead now, along with all the terrorists. But I'm not gonna sacrifice people who happen to be between me and my target. So what happens now? The bad guys get away? Balak gets away today. But we'll still be after him tomorrow and the day after that. Me, my crew, and every other crew in the Alliance. He'll run and he'll hide, but eventually he'll slip up and we'll get him. Bad guys never get away, Simon. Not unless the good guys give up. Well, I wouldn't want you after me. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. Uh, well, we already got a Savant 10 Omni Tool, and I don't think what he's gonna give us is better. So... Maybe Quarian Armor? Although Human Light Armor has been pretty rare this run. You have Quarian Armor? That's hard to come by. We hired a few to help install the torches. They really knew their stuff. You're welcome to take it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Have you found them? Um, yes, I did. Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh, I... I see. Well then, I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Colossus 8 armor. Let's hope that's actually good. I would assume so. I can't believe you let Balak go to save us. I half expected you to just let us die. Sacrifice the few for the many. Then I'd be no better than the Batarians. Besides, Balak won't get away with this. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing, no matter what. Your brother was the one Balak killed? Yes. Aaron, he was the one who convinced me to join the team here. 
said it would be an adventure. Well, he was right. I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I should see to Aaron. I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, I don't even know your name. Commander Shepard, with Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Thank you, Commander Shepard. You're not exactly what I expected, but thank you. What can you tell me about the Batarians? What were they hoping to achieve with all this? I don't even think they knew. When they first arrived, they were talking about getting us back to their ship. They wanted to sell us as slaves. When Balak showed up, everything changed. It was his idea to redirect the asteroid. Said it was the will of the Batarian Rebellion, whatever that is. They followed him quickly enough, but I, I don't know. I don't think they're all as fanatical as he was. That was a brave thing you did, Kate. Contacting me on the radio, risking your life. Stubborn and determined runs in the family. My father was in the Alliance back on Earth. I think he was disappointed none of us kids signed up, but he'd be proud of Aaron. Sorry. <laughs> I just... Uh... How did the asteroid get all the way over here? And why wasn't someone alerted sooner? The asteroid was scheduled to arrive in a day or two. Balak just sped it up. This rock is full of valuable minerals, but it was too far from Terra Nova to be profitable, so we attached some fusion rockets to it and drove it back. It was all going smoothly until... We'll get everything back to normal soon enough. <laughs> Almost everything. You've been through a lot. I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. All right. Another bomb, I guess. These, uh, this one looks more like the bombs in Eden Prime. And of course, Balak will uh, show up in uh, Mass Effect Three, where I think he actually helps you, because of course, Paragon options never have any. Uh, downsides in this game almost always thank you again commander you've done more than you know thank you so much I thought we were all dead and I don't recall there being anything to uh, get here other than Metagel which Why sure now? What do the Batarians want? But I believe that's it, so we can leave. And the engineer is still here, in case you hadn't done his, uh, Mission to find the engineers yet, you can still finish it at this point, I think. You can't imagine how much you've done for all of us. I can. I can very well imagine it. But we are done here. Um, let's see. I think I want to go to Pharaoh's. We have a few assignments left. Oh, we actually finished quite a few of the collection ones. We just have um, some minerals left and some Turian, one Turian insignia, and that's it. Then we have besieged base. But I guess I'll do that after Pharaoh's. And after a little lockdown, then. And that means... Checking if anybody has anything to talk about, which I don't think they do. And dealing with inventory.
Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everything. We'll talk another time. Nope. He has nothing to say. Don't think Liara does either. I think we're done with everybody. Until we have another mission to I get talk the about. Feeling you want to ask me something, Commander? I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Such insightful conversations. Once you've reached this point. If I talk to Garris, he's gonna make me go through the same conversation again, so I'm not gonna do that. God forbid you need to get to the Mako in a hurry on this ship. Shepard. Rex. This is my favorite conversation of the entire game. How good is that armor we got? Oh, very good. Yeah, this was a good trade. Considering she already has a really good Omni Toll. I guess you're gonna get off at Pharaoh's. Or possibly the Citadel afterwards, so we won't really be able to tell. Hey Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. Nope, we're done. So it'll be inventory. And then I'll be back. Okay, well, I've actually got max money and almost max Omni Gel after getting rid of my inventory. Um, so we don't really need to worry about that. Anything to survey here? Nope. All right, so Pharaohs. There's a mission in the uh, Hercules system that we haven't done yet, but we'll do it later. Get underway. And uh, I want to bring Liara because she'll be good to have when fighting Forian Creepers. And let's bring Garrus. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right, Pharaohs. This docking bay looks su su suspiciously like the one in um, Novaria. I wonder if it's actually the same model but retooled. There is no way to save him. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. 
And yeah, we got immediately attacked. Not that that's a huge issue. I remember playing this the first time. I was not expecting the sudden attack to be a thing. See if I can get more than one guy. Oh yeah. And the crates are gonna also be an issue, but I think that got all of them. Liara probably has points. Not that I really care about anything. I don't care about stasis at all. I don't need her for electronics. So, we'll put the points in first aid and barrier. Garrus is good and I'm good, yep. It's very dark here. I don't remember it being this dark. If I'm right, then it's the only place in the whole game where they made it darker. Is this potentially the first place you see those? If you do Pharaohs first, I guess. Which would have been the case on my first playthrough. Okay. Are you the girl for the grudge with that noise? Garrus, I think I'm slowing him down a hell of a lot more than you are. This place is such a maze as well. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. Those geth are bloody dangerous. I'll say. Glad to see some soldiers. Our numbers are getting thin. Die of thirst, the geth will surely kill us all. I think we have to talk to Fidan first. How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? That uh, would be a problem, yes. I fear the Geth will kill us all. Look for Dan's on the other side of this. There, there. At least we absolutely do have uh, enough um, Paragon points this time around. Huh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! You just care about protecting... the, uh... Um... The Forian. Oh. He's kind of out of reach now. He just slowly lowered back down. He's dead, but he's stuck in this position. That's a glitch, I guess. Higher level ammo doesn't really have uh, the synthetic or 
I guess we're going this way. Or, uh... Organic specific ammo is anymore. At least it doesn't seem like it. No, I want you to lock onto this guy. I wish you could queue up more commands. After making you use that. That might be a bit too easy though. Destroyer. I'm so scared. I am not really hitting him, but am I? Update Fidan and get a vehicle safely out of the Normandy. The Geth base is our next objective. Um, hate to disappoint you, but we have quite a few other objectives here. I seem to recall there being something back here. And I'm right. That's not very good. Uh, neither is that. Yeah, we're not going to the um, Geth base in a while. We have to deal with the mystery of Zeus Hope first. And help some people. The lighting definitely seems like more pronounced here. And I am completely going the wrong direction, but you know what? What are you expecting from me? This place is such a maze. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They yes, came, you do. they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us worked for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Fidan is another voice role from Armin Shimmerman, who also voices the uh, Solarian Counselor, and is of course well known as Quark in Deep Space Nine, and Principal Snyder in Buffy. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. I always do. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, 
but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. I guess that means that actually the options I saw when talking about this were not end conversation options. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and colonial, but despite everything, there's something How big trained. was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Well, good luck, Commander. Yeah. Um, I like how almost immediately you feel like there's something off here without really being able to put a finger on it. Look like there's anything here. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fi Dan. He knows the colony better than me. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship. Making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but Fi Dan, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. I, I can't talk right now. I'm busy. She's working the crane controls that are hiding the entrance to the Forian's lair, of course. This work must be completed. Davin does what he can, or her food will run out sooner or later. You're just, just laying down here? Your leg okay? Can't talk to you. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. What can you tell me about Zeus Hope? A fascinating place, by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. Nobody wants to leave. This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can't. How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. 
A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorat II Heranon Maldinest Gott Inost Letra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Gorat II is my homeworld. Heranon, my clan's country. Maldinest and Gott are the city and district where I live. Well, you live here now, so shouldn't that change? Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Um, I doubt that. Uh, Metagel upgrade is good, of course. And we'll buy the license, even though it's probably useless. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. It would give you time, though. You know where to find the problem with the water. The colony can't afford to lose any more of us. We're just too vulnerable. You're very focused on the water, despite the constant attacks. I... I can't think of anything else. So much has happened, but it hurts. If I stay focused on this task, the pain goes away. An understandable reaction, though her discomfort seems almost palpable. I wonder if it's because the Forion cares about the water and wants her to take care of it. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony. Or the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fidan or one of the others. You're allowed to have opinions. Well, I guess you're not, technically. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. I have to go. I wish you luck. Alright, there's some people in here too. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabbit, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Again, it would buy you time. You people are idiots. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Why should I speak with Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. You're weird. These people are all weird. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have to go. So long, Commander. And there's some missions we can learn about here.
Cargo logs. While decrypting these logs, you found something suspicious. Several months worth of human rations were delivered to an uncharted world in a Voyager cluster. The logs aren't clear, but it appears they maybe have, may have been maybe have been dropped off somewhere in the Amazon system. We'll have to check that out later, obviously. I like that these are clearly the same modules that like the ships we visit on assignments are made from. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It, it's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. All of this belief in the colony would be heartwarming if we didn't know what caused it. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really must know. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? I have to go. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we are totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know... Uh... Yes. That's better. Um, she didn't say the second part of that sentence. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. Uh, I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. I guess we'll take your word for it. I thought there was more here. Oh yeah, there is. That. Um, I think you can talk to Fidan about everybody being weird. Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. All right, uh, we want to go to the tunnels. So that's there. Deal with the side quests before heading to Exergeny and dealing with the GIF. For a second I thought that was Liara saying that. It's like that seems like an overreaction. Um, okay. This guy's annoying. I think I've learned last time that barrier is a lot faster than shield boost, so <laughs> that's the one I want to go for. Um, what happened to the colonist? They die? Well, if they aren't dead, I don't know where they are. This is so dark. Can't see anything. All 
right. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Indeed. There's three of them. There's the second one. There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking. And I believe this is where the Varen are. Oh. There are also some Geff to deal with. Can you get out of my way? Is this where the Varen are? Or is this where this is where the tower is? All right. less effective than I wanted, but still. We got them all, Shepard. Another Savant Den Omni tool. They're just dropping like, uh, like it's nothing now. Well, Garrus, I get you're getting an upgrade. So is Liara, even though it only improved the one thing she can't use. Alright. Um, I thought I did that. I hope that mission isn't stuck, well, or maybe it's. I need to find all the GEF that are here too. Which I haven't done yet. Keep going. At the end of the tunnel here, I think. All targets eliminated. Or not. Nothing there. Nothing here either. Did I miss the water thing? I'll look for it on the way back. You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! Ah! 
That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's Whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! Ah! Trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> Just leave him. He is completely mad. No, he's not. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up, company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out! Oh. Sudden more death? Wait, where is the... Gift transmitter is still on the map even though I took care of it. Oh, that's where I need to go for the f food, I guess. You're just gesturing to yourself. Is the water thing at the start of this then? Where did I miss it? Yeah, I did miss it here. Turning this last valve appears to have activated the system command. Um and I this mission is still stuck. This is where I need to go for the... Varen. Where's the Alpha Varen? I don't know. Falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the Alpha Mill, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. And there's isn't the power thing here too? Perimeter secure. Yeah, it is. This old disabled vehicle was more than willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. And just some random equipment here. I don't really get why... Our mission isn't... Changing. Do I need to speak to Fidan or something? The transmitter is now just gone. So... 
much I can do about that. Let's try a quick save and load, see if that changes anything. It does not. I hope that's not a glitch. But I don't know. Nothing else here. So we'll head back. Tell everybody we've solved their problems. Before heading to Exergeny. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. Uh, well, Geth in the Tunnels is gone here. So. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. Even though it's. Commander. Still stuck in the journal. Well, we'll see what happens. Hello again, Commander. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. It's actually nothing, because I think I already had max money. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trip. Thank you again, Commander. All right, at least we were able to help everybody. Um, that's weird. Commander, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the defense? I don't have any details. They landed at least one some of the colonies. We've been over this, Commander. The I'll talk to you when I learn. All right, well, um... Don't really know what to do with this. But we'll head over to Exergeny in the next video.